welcome back to PSM perfect solution for math i am your tutor suman pm in social media several members requested to upload a video how to solve the square root number so for them i have brought this video here we can find square root of any number but to find the square root of any number we require to remember some square of that for example from 1 square to 10 square we need to know about that so 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 5 square is 25 6 square is 36 7 square, square is 49 8 square is 64 9 square is 81 and 10 square is 100 if you know this much from 1 square to 10 square you can solve any root that is square root number easily to find the square root number, we have to follow the two steps. That is two steps are first one, grouping of a given number. Second one is solving by root division. So I will take the simple example first. Then we will, can go for the difficult one. So if you want to find root of 196, here, here is most importantly first step I have told grouping of a given number. So one more example also I will take because you can understand how to group this. So second example I will take as 1, 3, 6, 9 and also I will take one more example that is root 1, 2, 5, 4, 4. So these are the three examples I have taken. So first we will move on to the first one that is root of 196. To find that root of 196, that 196 we have to write down first. Now we have to do the group. So in the first, how to do that group? So root means 2, square root means 2. So here we have to starting from the unit place, we have to mention that is we have to group 2 digits in 1. So next here you can see 1 is left as it is. So that we will consider one more group. So here we have two groups that is uh, 96 one group and one is one more group. So coming to the second that is a uh, question 1369 here also we have to arrange in a group that is two each digits. So from starting from the unit place here we have to group 69 one group and 13 is one more group. Similarly over here that is 12544 so 12544. So here also we have to do the group starting from the unit place remember that so 4 4 is a one group 2 5 is one more group and 1 is one more group. So this is simple it is not having any difficulty I think so. Now coming for the second step that is solving by root division. So here 196 what we have that we have to write down as it is and simple division how you will do like that we only have to do but little bit change so little bit big line we will put over here and the group what we have done that we have to keep it as it is so 96 one side and one is one side so next we have to move now very importantly now we have to see this square number this is one group that is one is one group so one it will come in which square so here we have to find see these values so where the one it will come so in between any number it came or exact it is a square number square numbers are opposed to this number 1 4 9 16 25 36 what we have that is called a square numbers so this one is a square number yes you can see here one is a square number of one so one ones are one so here we have to minus how we will do in a division so it will become how much zero then what we are doing this 96 we are that 9 we are bringing down in simple division but in this case in square finding the square root not only 9 we have to bring both the number that is 96 and one more thing we have to do over here that is nothing but here we have written 1 yes here we have to add same number once again what we have multiplied over here same number we have to add over here so 1 plus 1 is 2 what we have multiplied that same number I have to write down here if it is here 6 here also we have to write 6 
Understood? So 1 plus 1 is how much? 2. Now all of you concentrate once again. What we have to do now? Here we have 2, but it is not only 2, it is something that is 20. So from 20 to 29, any number it may come here, what we have left over here, the space, what we have over here. Here the number may come from 0 to 9, any number it may come, that we don't know, that we have to find now. So how to find that? So now again we have to take one uh, number that which number you have to substitute over here same number. for example if you multiply here 4 here also you have to multiply 4 if you multiply here 6 same number you have to multiply here 6 so you have to do the calculation 6 6 uh, how much that we have to write down here 6 2 uh, how much that we have to write down here but whether it is a 6 or which number it will come over here that we have to find for that purpose what you have to do over here so here don't see this 6 number just you see this 9 so 2 how much are 9 that we have to find first 2 how much are 9 so you may say that 2 4 is 8 yes so here also we have to multiply 4 what will multiply over here same number you have to multiply over here so now this 4 we have to multiply for 24. 4 4s are 16. Carry 1. Two, 4 2s are 8 plus 1 9. So here we got the reminder as 0. So what we have here here that is our final answer. That is nothing but square root of 196 is equals to 40. So you think you are little bit get uh, may be getting confused because this is the first problem. So we'll move on to the second. You can understand it better. So we will take one more simple example that is uh, root of 961. When you are finding root of 961, the first method here, what you have to do? The group the given number. So we have to write down that number first. That is uh, 961. Then we have to put the root then we have to group that that is uh, 6 1 from unit place we have to group 2 each so 6 and 1 1 group and 9 is one more group so now we have to consider this first one that is 9 the 9 it will come in which of the square number the perfect square so here we have 1 here we have 4 here we have 9 16 so is this 9 it is a perfect square number only that is 9. So that is nothing but 3 square. So here you have to write 3 into 3. 3 3 is a 9. So what we remained over here? 0. So according to the previous one, what we will multiply over here, the same thing we have to add. So 3 plus 3 is 6. So it is 60 something. Means 60 to 69, any number it may come over here. So now what we have to do? We have to bring the down. No? So we have to bring not only 6, we have to bring both the number that is 61. So next, what we have to do? 60 means uh, how much the 61? So here if you don't know to find, don't see this 1. What we have over here that don't see. Just you see that 6 divided by 6. 6, how much the 6? 6, 1's are 6. That's all, it is 1. Here also 1. So this 1 we have to multiply for this both. 1 into 1, 1. 1 into 6, 6. What is remained? That is 0. When it came 0, that is the final answer. So root 9, 6, 1 is nothing but what we got over here. That is 31. So this is our root of 961 is 31 so any difficulty if you have you can write down in a comment section but we will take little bit big numbers now next we can move on to the next part that is uh, 1369 here 1369 so again the first thing we have to do is a group we have to do so 1369 we will write down as it is 
then we have to do the group that is uh, 6 9 is the one group and 1 3 is the one more so here we have to put the division so the first thing we have to see the first two number that is our here the first two numbers are uh, 13 so here 13 is a perfect square number whether it is 1 4 9 16 25 anywhere it will come no 13 will not come any any of the numbers but the 13 will come in between the two number that is 9 and 16 so in between it will come the 13 so in this case what we have to do we have to consider the previous one that is not 16 we have to consider 9 that is nothing but 3 square so here we have to multiply 3 3 is a 9 remaining is how much 4 13 minus 9 is nothing but 4 then the previous one what we have done here we have multiplied 3 so here I have to add the 3 so how much now 6 3 plus 3 is how much 6 we are going to get means it is 60 something so next step is nothing but this we have to bring it down not only 6 we have to bring 69 both the things we have to bring it down now little bit thing we have that is difficulty what we will call that we have because here 60 ones are we don't know. but here what we have 469 so how to find so it I have already told this space what we have here any number it may come from 0 to 9 any number it may come from 0 to 9 that we don't know so what we have to do now so here for that purpose what we have told already we have to neglect this 9 what we have over here don't see this 9 afterwards we can uh, go through this 9 we have over here now 46 and here we have 6 46 divided by 6 6 home of the 46 that we have to consider it first so 6 home of the 46 now 6 7 the 42 that we know so 6 8 the it became 48 so it is more we want 46 yes so it is less that that is 6 7 the 42 so here we have to write on 7 and here also we have to write on 7 whether we are going to get the correct answer or what if you are not getting the correct answer then we have to reduce the 7 by 6 that is uh, we will discuss in the next example so here 7 we have here we have 7 that is 67 now this 7 we have to multiply for this both so 6 7 7 is 49 4 is carry now we have to multiply 7 with the 6 7 6 of 42 42 plus 4 is 46 so here we can see 0 0 0 so remainder is 0 so our answer is nothing but 37 so square root of 1 3 6 9 is nothing but 37 so like this way we can find square root of any number we will take one more example so root 1 2 5 4 4 to find the square root of 1 2 5 4 4 so similarly here we have to do the first one as a group 1 2 5 4 4 so group when we are doing so from unit place from right hand side two digits two digit here only one digit so in this only we can understand the root what we are going to get the three digit number so because three groups are there one two three so it is more than hundred now so starting with the first here why we have one so one is a perfect square number yes one is a perfect square number so that is one one the one so when we will minus this we will get zero one minus one is zero so what you have multiplied over here the same thing we have to add so one plus one is two now we have to bring the two numbers down that is 25 is the next group number so now 20 something 20 how much the 25 so it is you see don't uh, see this 5 number what we have over here don't see this consider only 2 2 divided by 2 2 by 2 is how much 1 so here you have to multiply 1 1 so 1 1 is a 1 1 2 is a 2 so when we will minus this 5 minus 1 is a 4 2 minus 2 is 0 
we have multiplied over here one so here we have to add that one now so one we have to add and we are going to get here one plus one two and here we have two next step is we have to bring this 44 down so it will become 444 so here we have 444 here we have 220 something but we don't know the 200 ones are because uh, 220 ones are we don't know to find the four 444 so what we have to do this four what we have over here that we have to neglect we have to see only 44 first and here we have to see only 22 so 44 divided by 22 if you will do it correctly 22 ones are 22 twos are so for that purpose here we can multiply 2 and here also we have to multiply 2 so now now we have to find the multiplication we have to do so this 2 we have to multiply with this first 2 2 to the 4 again this 2 we have to multiply for the second 2 2 to the again 4 again this 2 we have to multiply for this 2 again we got here 4 444 so totally we got over here 0 so finally when we will get the answer as 0 so here what we have that is our answer so root of 1 2 5 4 4 is nothing but 112 like this way you can find the answer in this video, I have taken only the perfect square number. For example, this 12544 root of 196 and root of 1369. All these numbers are perfect square numbers. Means you are not going to get any fraction value. For example, you are not going to get to get the final answer as 1.6 or 10.8 or 7.5 like final answer when you will do the square root you are not going to get the fraction value because i have not taken this fraction value because it is the first time you are facing this if i will explain this how to find the fraction value directly you will get totally con get confused if you understand this put it a uh, notification on comment section you can comment so we un you understood this concept then i can go for this fraction value for that purpose just to practice it if you understand by tomorrow put a comment on the comment section and i will teach you how to find this fraction value this fraction value also very easy but if i will teach it now you will totally get confused for that purpose i will take it for the next video thank you for watching my channel psm perfect solution for math please support my channel like subscribe and share my channel all this much for this video we will meet you in the next video till then be safe thank you